In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to filter time in Google Sheets. This is part of a series on filtering dates and times in Google Sheets, where we cover dates, times, date timestamps, and I've even got a bonus video on filtering to weekdays, Monday through Friday. Now, if you want to play along, grab a copy of the starter sheet in the link in the description below and pause the video now and get it all set up. And once you are ready, hit play. Welcome back. Okay, so on the left hand side here, I have a range of data with names in column A and times in column B. So the simplest thing we can do to filter times is by referencing a cell. So let's go ahead and do that now. And all we need to do is say filter. And then we are going to select our range. So it's going to be A2, A2, all the way down to B94. That's B94, which would be down to there. Cool. So our next thing we need is our condition. So the condition is going to start with the column reference that we want to apply our condition to, which is going to be B2 to B94, our time. So we'll say B2 to B94. And that's going to be equal to the cell reference above. Done. Close the brackets, hit tab, and there it is. We have Michael Harrington and Briar Castillo. And they, that is Michael Harrington right there. Do we have a Briar Castillo? Let's see if we can find him with a bit of a control F. There he is. In row 43, the 7, 12, 06 time. Awesome. So we've got the basics under control here. Instead of having a cell reference, what if we want to put everything inside of our formula? Now, intuitively, you might just want to put this time in a string to have it equals. So let's see what happens if we did that. So I'm just going to Go up to the formula bar at the top here, hit control C to copy and tab out. Then head over to this error uh, row here. We're going to display and back into the formula bar, control V. Now, if I just put in the time here, so in double quotations and we said uh, 0, 7, 1, 2, colon, 0, 06 and hit tab. Then we're going to get an NA. So what's going on? Well, clearly time is not a string. Is it a number though? So let's maybe uh, convert this to a number and see what happens. Oh, we've got a red underline. It's going to be a warning. NA again. Okay, something weird's going to go on. So the next thing we could possibly use is time here. So let me just show you what time does. If I go equals time, uh, we can add in three parameters. The first one is going to be the hour. So I'll say 0, 7, comma, 12 minutes and 0, 06 seconds and close we've got a reasonable time here that's working okay however what happens if i add this to our formula so let's build this out a bit if i say filter and then our range so a two to b 94 comma b two to b 94 is equal to this time and then we're going to close the brackets. It's looking pretty good so far. Close the brackets, so I've got a red underline. We know there's an error coming. Dum, dum, dum. There it is. Error has come. So what's going on? We expected this to work by adding in the time function, but it didn't. This is a case of a kind of an infinite decimal problem here. So what do I mean by this? Well, in Google Sheets, time is a decimal of a whole number that make up an entire day. So if I just type in value, for example, the function value to show you what I mean. And then if I just typed in this time over here, we can see that this value is uh, 0 0.300069 with a bunch of fours. And maybe if I expand that out, we'll get another four. So this might be four for four recurring. So sometimes, but not all the time if we've got a time number here that has an infinite ending and some of these values may not quite have an infinite ending there's going to be a mismatch and we'll get this na reading up here so no match is found in the filter so how do we go about resolving that well we need to convert our time values to a value using that value function that we used before so let's just go down here so we don't have an overflow issue if i typed in value here so value and then I got this single range up here. We're okay. We've got this first value for our cell. 
Now I can't make a range inside value. So I said B2 colon B94. Then we're just going to get that first value again, which is not particularly helpful. But what we could do is use the array formula function to wrap around this value to get that entire range. So if I say array formula and then put a brackets around it and then close the brackets, hit tab, then you can see all our numbers are appearing down here. So now that we've got a list of numbers, we can reference them against our time now to, to filter down to that particular item. Awesome. Let's select this here and go control X because I don't want it anymore to cut it, hit tab to get out. Let's head back up to this H12 here to put in our new fresh shiny formula. So up in the formula bar, let's type equals filter and then our range A2 to B94 comma and then our condition now is our array formula. And that's going to be equal to time. And then we can put in our hours, minutes, and seconds. So we'll say uh, 7, 12, 6. And then close our brackets to close the filter and hit tab. Oh, put a little error here. We still kept the equals for the array formula. So let's uh, just tab out of that. And there we have it. Now, alternatively, we can also use a function called time value that allows us to put in a more intuitive time. So I've got this one down the bottom here, which is seven hours, 12 minutes and six seconds in a string here. So how does this work? Okay, let's go up and grab this previous one with time here. So I'm going to select that cell and hit control C to copy and tab out, then head down to H21, back into the formula, hit control V to paste and this time instead of using time let's use time value time value okay so let's use the same time again and this is going to be inside a string so i'm just going to close this off so i know what's going on then i can type in 0, 07 12 oh, 6. now incidentally you don't have to use the full hours minutes and seconds you can use hours and minutes you can use am and pm time value is pretty intuitive and will help you where it can okay let's hit tab and you can see everything's working hunky-dory cool let's uh, just close this so you can see what's up next okay so what about time values before or after before or after or equal to we've got a cell reference here let's have a crack at it so we may as well use the same formula so let's go back to h12 and in the formula formula bar hit Control a Control c and then back to l6 and Control v now here we just change the operator here it's fairly intuitive so if we want everything less than this value we just need the uh, less than operator best way to remember less than is that it is shaped as an l on its side and we're going to hit tap and we can do the same again for our time value. So uh, let's go ahead and select all again. So then control A, control C, down to L36, back into the formula bar, and control V, and let's do less than, and hit tab. Done, good stuff. Now, you probably see here if there's less than or greater than that we've got a bit of an issue. Some of our numbers are all jumbled up and mixed. So what we can do to modify this is to use the sort function. So I'm going to type in sort here and put a bracket around the filter that we want to sort. And then we'll put a comma at the end. And what is the column that we want to sort by? Well, that's the time, right? So it'll be column number two. And do we want to sort it ascending? Yes. So we'll say true and close our brackets cool so now we've got everything from the earliest time to the latest time again we can do the same with this one sort column two true close our brackets nice we can include the time value by making it less than or equal to and hit tab so now we've included that time and that's down the bottom here you can see these two people are part of that time or we can even make it greater than that time. So let's go greater than or equal to and hit tab. And now we've got all the times after 7, 12, 06. Now, if we were just, just wanted to exclude 
712.06 from our list, we could actually use the not equal to operator here, which is a less than followed by a greater than and tab out. And you can see that uh, 712.06 doesn't appear here. So it's, uh, we've got 7.8.12 and 7.13.07. Okay, let's just make that back to less than or equal to, so it looks pretty. Okay, so the last thing we want to do for time is how do we work out between two dates? Now, I haven't got a cell value here. I think you can figure that out already. So let's just do one with the time value in here. So what we'll do, we'll head down to this L36 and we'll go into the formula, hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy, back up to P7, back into the formula, Control V to paste. Now, all we need to do here is add another condition so we will select this entire range from the array formula and hit Control c to copy and we can put a comma in here and hit Control v to paste what sort of time range do we want let's say we want between 71206 so it needs to be greater than or equal to 71206 but less than 930 for example now, if we just say 930, we don't actually need to display this seconds in here. It'll handle for it. So we'll hit tap. And there it is. So we've got from 71206 all the way through to 91226. There's no 930 in our list. Awesome. Okay, that's it for working with time in the filter function in Google Sheets. In the next tutorial, we'll learn how to handle date and time stamps in Google Sheets. And we'll actually do a little bit of bonus at the end and we'll get all the date and time ranges after a particular time at the end as well. So there's a couple of got gotchas in date and time stamps too that we'll also uncover. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.